So I, I grew up in Lake City. I'm, I turned 38 on July 3rd. So I've been here for 38 years. And um, my mom actually lived here before I did. And then actually my grandparents. So going back like 100 years, my family's been in Seattle on my mom's side. Um, it, you know, for me, growing up in Lake City was a good experience. Uh, we have a community center that was built in 1954 by the Lake City Lions. And we don't have a full service community center yet in Lake City and we don't have a teen center. And as you know, we have a lot of teens that live in the area and more and more every year, and they don't really have a place to hang out or um, safe place to learn job skills or to play basketball. My name is uh, Nancy Garrett, and I'm a teen services librarian at the Lake City Library. And I have worked here for 16 years, and that's when I moved here, actually. Um, what would I like to see specifically for youth, right? Um, well, I know that there have been a lot of a lot of talk about you know kind of a full service parks community center, so that would be wonderful to have more opportunities for teens, more places to hang out. Um, um, again, I would like to be able to offer more you know um, internships and service learning opportunities, um, and um, things like more college support. Um, what else would I like to see at the library? Mm. Or in Lake City in general, this area. One thing I'd like to see is kind of more support for teens who um, maybe are struggling. We have you know, a lot of teens who are super motivated and doing really well in school. And then we have a lot of teens who um, don't have a lot of support. Lake City Community Center was built in 1944 when the concept of community centers was just forming. So we have a great dance floor, but we don't have a gym. We have some great meeting rooms, but we don't have a computer lab. So we have yet to catch up with what modern community centers offer. So I, I think those sorts of things are important, um, meeting uh, opportunities for tutoring people as well as opportunities for sports and fitness. We just don't have that. We have to take a different spin on it if we want to work with teens. It's actually owned by Seattle Parks and Recreation and managed by the North Seattle Chamber of Commerce. So any programming that happens typically uh, is funded by the instructor. It's, it's handled as a private rental rather than a program through the center. This here is the park. We need a community center. We've been setting up meetings with the city council members themselves, one-on-one -on -one meetings. We've been um, write like letters also, Facebook pages, petitions. Uh, there's multiple ways that we can get this done. But the main thing we have to do is form a coalition of multiple members. So right now we're forming a coalition of state senators, city council members, nonprofits. And that way we have a better, better chance to convince the city to build a community center or team center. My name is Ryan Spencer. I am the Recreation Center Coordinator here at Meadowbrook Community Center. Um, programs at Meadowbrook are funded, um, funded by the city, um, but also um, last year um, the Seattle Parks District was created. Um, voters passed a dedicated source of funding for um, parks and recreation activities essentially and buildings and all that good stuff within the city of Seattle. And so there's a few different um, places where our money comes from. Um, we also have a great partner in the Associated Recreation Council that um, works with us on many of the activities um, that we do. A lot of our instructors, um, camp counselors, people like that are actually employed by the Associated Recreation Council, not the City of Seattle. And so um, they are a great partner of ours and 
having funding as well. Well, I would say your voices are not heard enough, and, and that's unfortunate. So I think one thing you guys can do is go and talk to your council members. Go as a group, have like two or three top priorities come together so they'll see that you're from the coalition and go tell them um, what you want, go tell them what you need. And also uh, use your mentors like Ronnie and Sky and Travis and myself and we can help you do that as well. But I would say get together, get your top three priorities and set up a meeting with City Council Member Deborah Warris. We're in District 5 and she's our new council member and she represents the, the North District. So I would say set up a meeting with her. Okay, thank you for your time, that's it. Yeah, thank you very much for the, the interview.